Hi PTSD buddies. I thought I'd come online and do a live feed. I've been having a really bad, bad time lately. I went to counselling today. It was a an emotional roller coaster as normal. I broke down in tears. I hate post-traumatic stress disorder. I really do. I'm tired of it now. Really tired. I hate waking up each day and reliving the trauma. I want to have a drink, but and if I start drinking, I won't stop. I've never self-harmed myself, but I've, but I've thought about it. But I haven't done it. I just want the pain to go away. The pain my ex caused me. I trusted him with my past and I used every single insecurity towards me. And that is something that I can't get over. And he's walking the streets free while I'm psychologically damaged due to him. I'm 15 months no contact with my abuser and I still don't feel any better. Some days I'm okay, other days I'm not. But this last week, I can't do it alone no more. I go to a counselling session called Victim Support. Don't get me wrong, they're really, really good. I talk to a girl called Anna face to face, but... It's okay talking, but... Oh. Shh, Milo. But it don't make me feel any better, it makes me feel worse. I'm starting a new counselling on Thursday as well through um, Women's Aid. And that's just like CBT and other talking therapy. <laughs> but I can't see it's got to make much difference to me whatsoever. Because I'm reliving the trauma each day. And each time I go to counselling. And it's hard. The only thing that keeps me going at the minute is my family, my daughter. But she's like 400 miles away. Hi, right, Fanny. And I found out the other day I'm going to be a grandma for the fourth time, so that keeps me going. I'm a little dog, Milo. He's about somewhere. So I'm not alone in my flat. I have my dog, but... I think I'm going to have to make an appointment with my GP tomorrow. And see if I can get a psychiatrist, because the way I'm feeling at the minute, I'm just sinking. Sinking really, really bad. I just want the memories to disappear. If it was brain implants, you know what, I'd fucking go for it. I just keep replaying what my ex said to me, the most cruelest words. And that is something I can't go over at all.
I'll try not to cry here because it's really, really hard. I'm not going to trigger anybody what I said, but they used paedophile tactics. No one I was abused as a child. And that's something, something I can't get over. Just give me a minute, I've lost my light. I hate having post-traumatic stress disorder. But I didn't find out till last year when police referred me. And my ex caused it. He triggered me. I don't know. He triggered me so, so bad. I was talking to my therapist today and she says, what do you feel like at the minute? I said, I feel like hunting him down and killing him. <laughs> That's what I say to her today. But I know if I did that, I'd be in prison for it. I just want to hurt him. I want to hurt him so bad. I want him to feel what pain feels like, what, what he did to me. And the police did nothing. They let him walk free because there wasn't enough evidence. I was willing to fight, fight, fight him in court and I never ever got that chance. And now I'm suffering. I want to protect other women and even children from him. But they please let me down. I know another victim of his because she messaged me a few months back. He did exactly the same to her. And I sent the police the evidence and they wouldn't do nothing about it unless you press charges. Surely that's wrong. The evidence were there. <sighs> I so want a drink, but you know what? If I have a drink now, I won't stop. I'll be drinking all night. <sighs> Just to numb the pain. PTSD is hard to live with each day. By the way, I'm a moderator of the group. And look at the state of me. I'm a moderator because I care. While well, deal dealing with my own issues as well. I'm a survivor. Sorry, I lost connection there. The evidence was there. Laura, I sent the police a hundred emails because I found out a lot of stuff when I left. They controlled my Facebook. He was taunting me through my Facebook posts. My images as a child. <laughs> Sick, evil. That I won't stop my fight. I'll keep going. Because it's not right the way I'm suffering and he's walking the streets. The evidence was there. When his ex messaged me saying, he did exactly the same to her. I sent that to the police and they still did nothing. Now that rings bells, why? The police won't do nothing at all unless she presses charges, but she won't do it. People say I'm brave, Laura. But I'm weak at the minute. I'm tired of fighting. I 
I've been waiting for 15 months. And this is what he's done to me. I just hope tomorrow's a better day. I was actually doing fine. But the last week or so I've just been sinking further and further deeper deeper into a hole. I wouldn't wish post traumatic stress on anybody at all. I don't think I could trust a man again in my life. And if I do, it'll be a very, very long time. I think what also triggered me tonight was Emmerdale. The storyline.